Let's say that that same week I have something coming up on the 24th and 25th. The good news is you actually already know everything you need to know to create the next two types of items. I'm going to double click. I'm going to type in the subject. And in this case, it happens to be a trade show. And we'll go ahead and have fun with this. So it's going to be a trade show in Las Vegas. The difference is that I need to go ahead and set the end date to be another day. So it's starting on the 24th, and I'm going to say that it ends on the 25th. Technically speaking, I could not make this an all-day event. I could say it starts at 10 a.m. on Wednesday and ends at 5 p.m. on Thursday. But since it requires some travel and I'm just going to be out of the office, I'm going to leave it as an all-day event to completely block it out. Another thing I might do is I might use my categories. When I click there, this of course is part of the marketing group. And this gives me the opportunity to sort and filter for this item using my calendar as well.